Hello friends, welcome to part 3 of uh, uh, XTTL Daylight tutorial and uh, it's now a post processing uh, in Photoshop. So past two, uh, previous two parts uh, we have done uh, this lighting and uh, uh, rendering in uh, V-Ray. Now same thing uh, we can uh, do uh, uh, post processing in Photoshop. Basically uh, I have saved uh, PNG uh, with alpha uh, so we can't get this uh, background. So this is the plus point of PNG we can take or if you uh, you can also save as a TIFF uh, with a background. So there are uh, n number of formats like TJ also you can save, you can save PNG or you can save TIFF. So um, now uh, let's get started with this uh, Photoshop thing. Uh, first of all, I, I, it's uh, the play. This the ground is looking very plain. Actually, uh, um, the one mistake uh, was uh, from my side because uh, in we have not assigned the texture on this. So, so somehow we have to adjust one new material for it or new texture for it. I'll just take a brush. So I'll come down to 20%. I'll save as, I'll go to final image, I'll open my image. I don't want this and I'll press Ctrl T on keyboard and come down with the size. Now I'll press right click and say distort this corner and this corner. and you can have multiply and down with the opacity and the layer mask on it take brush so slightly we can come down with the ending part Again, we can duplicate over here. Some of the other, uh, some shadow is falling, uh, we can show because it's uh, previously it was uh, looking very blank. So, this will add some uh, craft to it. And in background, I can add blue texture, uh, color like this and in that I will add sky it's too big I'll click on this layer. Simply I'll go with levels. I'll press Ctrl L on the keyboard. I'll adjust this first so it will match the image. Or somehow many people like uh, take uh, plank plane also in blue color or or else we can come down with the opacity uh, with the sky and we can also get add and uh, layer mask and we can do very nice 
effect like this. So it won't be a very harsh look of clouds. So now I'll add one more layer and I'll add straight away uh, vignetting. We can do it like this. I can add brush. I'll add layer mask and I'll say increase my size of brush. So it gives me a lot of lot of control. Many use uh, other uh, different techniques, but generally I use this one, and which takes me a lot of uh, control in it. One more thing we can uh, I can do here. Basically, I have uh, uh, accumulated all those PSD uh, cutouts. Uh, basically, I have done cut and paste on each and everything. So you can always uh, uh, add on to your library. So I'll add some of my blocks where it's very useful to so like this I'll press F7 so it will under this so it will have that black tint and use the people I'll add layer mask. I'll take a brush. I don't want this to be displayed. So here we can do, and actually, this is trees. can do it like this and for background so we can add more so this is uh, what I was uh, looking for in this tutorial and so if you like my tutorial do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online if you want some kind of tutorial do let me know i'll uh, really make for you and uh, thanks for watching my tutorial